hello viewers uh, welcome to the industry automation youtube channel and today i'm going to show you or i'm going to explain uh, uh, how to use the latching relay function or what does it mean or how to use practically uh, using logo plc or two inductive sensor inductive proximity sensor first uh, let's have a look uh, the one basic uh, latching diagram what are people or what engineer usually like to use in the industry and this is very common and uh, we are going to simulate this uh, basic ladder diagram so let's have a look here is a one on switch another off switch and one is output so if i press on um, on switch so output is energized uh, and uh, you know that uh, it's energized until i press here or i switch off uh, the on switch but uh, one interesting thing here what is happening if I press off, switch off, but still output is running because of latching circuit. Because output circuit now is connected through this way. And this is called the latching. Latching means it's just holding the output signal. And if you press the off switch and then output will be de-energized or there would be no output signal. But this is not uh, my interest today. I am going to show you the latching relay. How to do the same thing using the latching relay so yeah all you know that uh, you will find the latching relay under miscellaneous and you will take the latching relay block and here you will find one is set point another is another pin is called reset and i'm going to use uh, two inductive sensor one is for set another is for reset and it's very simple pretty simple uh, ladder diagram and it's not that much complicated and here is the one output here i'm going to show you the two table of uh, latching relay and it's a pretty easy you don't need to know so many things it's uh, uh, very convenient just look here you know that uh, there is the two pin one is called set another is called reset another is the output so if you look at the truth table and you just look when set and reset both is low uh, it means the output remain unchanged and when set is zero and reset is one output is reset and when uh, set is one and reset is zero output is set and when both is high it means both is energized then output is reset so again low so one thing you have to bear in mind that the latching relay always reset dominating what does it mean reset dominating just look at here when a reset pin is energized or it's high then always is it's reset output is reset condition it's so this is the uh, thing you have to remind in mind that uh, the latching relay its uh, function which working uh, based on the reset pin is energized so that's why it's called the reset dominating but some engineer might not like the ladder diagram but you know that you can uh, translate or you can convert to a functional block diagram and here i already made it for you and from my opinion functional block diagram it's very convenient for the engineer or it's very user friendly you might say so this is how we can uh, control or we can use the uh, latching diagram or latching relay and now i'm going to load this diagram to plc so test is shows is correct and now it's okay and uh, here is the one message for you this device is uh, in a run mode change to stop and i said no because i don't want to stop my plc and let's uh, look uh, now the diagram or practical use of plc and uh, with two inductive sensor let's go hello viewers uh, now i'm going to show you the practical use of uh, latching relay function and how to use or uh, using a uh, two inductive sensor and plc now look here uh, two sensor two inductive proximity sensor and one plc and it's uh, a latest model logo plc it's called 
it's modeling ov8 and uh, there are some advantages of this plc you don't need any data cable you just need only one lan cable this is the biggest advantages advantages of this logo plc just uh, look here uh, plc has uh, i1 to ih input and uh, for output and uh, as the input i just uh, took uh, two pnp no pnp and no type inductive proximity sensor and uh, it works as an input and four output output uh, just four led and you can take anything you want it depends on your application and now you have to know the truth table and i already explain you what it's called truth table and how it's function and uh, how to use in industry based on truth table and what was our first condition and you know that first condition was uh, set and reset both is zero now set and reset both is low so what does it mean when set and reset is low then output is unchanged there is no change but when uh, or as soon as uh, you make a set zero and reset is high means it's inductive sensor i took one metal in front of the inductive sensor but sensor is energized but output is still unchanged why because uh, it's uh, not it's already in a reset condition so now we are going to check the third condition when set one and reset zero so we are taking metal in front of uh, the set sensor i even proximity sensor now it's four leds are uh, on mode because when set is high and output is high so if we look uh, at uh, the last condition both set and reset both is energized both is high so i'm taking two metals in front of two sensor so now his output is low so that means the reset dominating because now his reset is high and that's why output is low output is reset so in this way uh, you can use this function you can make program you can control sensor switch actuator whatever so let's have a look again and uh, yeah it's same because as soon as you take uh, metal in front of the reset sensor then it's always resetting uh, it's reset the output so let's again now it's set condition and as soon as our reset sensor is uh, energized so output is low so that's why i told you and i ask you to bear in mind it's a uh, reset dominating or reset priority whatever you say whatever you mean it's a uh, reset uh, dominating function and i think it's a very helpful uh, video for you because i showed you later diagram functional block diagram and i showed you the practical application if you like my video please uh, share my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for your time and thank you for watching my video